Hello and welcome. It is Friday, Friday, September the 20th, and this is the Greenbrier Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Now, for today, we are going to the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verses 1 through 8. Here's the word of the Lord. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourself. Do not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of the other. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset of Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. And that is the word of the Lord. The article today is titled, Year Before Me, written by Stephanie Hendrickson. One of the characteristics I have never understood is when people obviously do not consider others around them. Standing in line and someone jumps ahead, sitting at a restaurant and the person behind you crowds your space, eating all the bananas in the house before anyone else can have even one. These actions just do not compute in my mind because I was raised to always consider those around me. Granted, this is easier with the general public than those we live with and interact with all the time. How do my actions affect those around me? Paul encourages the Christians in Philippi to consider others above yourself. This isn't because it will make all the Christians of Philippi look good to their neighbors, but because it is a product of being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind, being considered as possible if we are like-minded in love and spirit. No, this doesn't mean we are cookie-cutter Christians or that we are all brainwashed so we think exactly the same thoughts. Rather, we are so shaped by Christ and His love that we form a community that is immersed in the love of Christ that values others over self. The hymn today is Charge to Keep I Have by Charles Wesley. To serve the present age, my calling to fulfill. O oh, may it all my powers engage to do my master's will. And from the book of Galatians, chapter 5, verse 14. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. And that is your daily devotion for Friday, September the 20th. Have a blessed day.